Hi guys, okay, so I'm back for the next part. Um, so after you've stained, we're going to do uh, the new technique. I don't think that we've done it on anything previous. I don't recall. Um, so what we're doing is called a wash. Um, I wanted to create some texture in the bunny without fully painting it so that it um, it looked different than you know the clothes that it was wearing. So, um, so what we're gonna do, you should have two little containers like this. Um, actually probably just we probably just sent you one um, and we're gonna do a little bit of mixing so we didn't send a popsicle stick because I find that the brush for the little amount that we need the brush getting the paint at the bottom will be the best uh, the best thing so normally I have measuring things at the store for paint um, and I left them at the store so if you have a set great if not I'm using the ones for my kitchen I'm going to um, I'm just going to put a little paint in it and run it to the sink really fast and wash it out and then I'm going to come back and put the remaining um, water in. So uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do Algonquin. So we're doing a ratio of one part paint to eight parts water. So for the little project that we're doing, if you did an eighth of a teaspoon of paint to one teaspoon of water, that should be more than enough. So. I'm gonna just, you guys will have little mini pots of paint, so you can just pour it into, into that, and then into your little thing. I'm taking my brush so I don't waste any paint, and I'm just gonna go wash my um, thing out, so I'll be right back. So for the seconds that it's gonna be on that thing, it's not going to hurt you. This paint is very safe. It, <laughs> in regards to many of them out there, so I wouldn't worry about it. But if it does bother you, then you will just wanna go grab a set from the dollar store. So next, I'm going to add a teaspoon of water to my little container. And then I'm just gonna stir it with my brush because that way I can get into all those little nooks and crannies. I can get it all out of my brush. So kind of what you're creating is like a stain so we're just going to brush it on. We're not going to wipe it off. We're just going to let it dry. So that's why we want to do it now because it's going to take a little bit of time to dry and then we have to do one more color over top. So um, I'm just going to do a little test in here um, in the middle because I'm going to cover that up with clothes anyways and I'm fine with that. So I'm just going to take my brush and start painting it on. I always try and grab from the bottom and give it a stir because that way I'm getting more paint than I am just the water on the top. So just give it a stir and then paint it on. Now I'm painting in the direction of the grain because uh, my grain is going side to side and your guys could be too. Um, I'm even just going to paint the tail because it's just easier to make sure you've got it far enough and then we'll paint over after when we do it, uh, do the white. So just paint it on. And so we don't need to do the flower, we're just doing the bunny. So stir and then it'll take off the excess on the side and Now this I'm just gonna come up this way because it's easier guys, but there, okay, so now nothing else on here, but on her dress, she's got her hands there. So you wanna make sure that you get that little area now so you don't forget later, and then you gotta go mix up a little bit more. So just get in there as best you can. If you get a little over, it doesn't matter because there's a a piece that overlays there, okay. Okay guys, I knew there would be a chance I was gonna forget this. So um, as I was cleaning up, I realized, oh darn, I forgot to do the bunny's tail. So I'm just gonna quickly sand these now, because I hadn't done that yet, and I was kind of leaving it for a little bit. So I'm just gonna gently sand. And I might as well just stay on these guys at the same time. So 
me for jiggling the table. So when you're doing these, just double check because I want you to see because her dress kind of, it doesn't fit perfect, perfect. Well, this one fits better than the port side one. So you want to make sure you come in enough on there. So gently take it across on that one and on um, this one I'm going to come in here. Check. If I do that, that one should be good. 